This past summer, I had the opportunity to take a little train trip. Well, to be more accurate, it was a short trip on a little train, and I wasn't alone. Every Sunday, out in Wildwood, from spring to fall, hundreds of people climb aboard the Wabash, Frisco, and Pacific trains. They're small, but they're really honest-to-goodness working locomotives driven by fire, water, steam, and what seems over the decades now to be an inexhaustible supply of dedicated volunteer railroad enthusiasts. This is what people really come for, the sight and sounds of a working steam engine. Long gone now from our railroad system, but alive and well here at the Wabash, Frisco and Pacific Miniature Railroad in St. Louis County. It seems that it would amaze people that these are actual operating steam engines. Yes, it, it is. When the public comes down and they see the real thing, it's like, wow, I didn't even know this existed any longer. And that's kind of our forte with this club is to keep these steam engines running. That's basically what everybody joined the club for is to help preserve the steam engines. Obviously they get involved in other things too. The ride takes about 40 minutes. It runs along the Merrimack River and through the woods. It used to have this route to itself, but now shares much of it with a segment of the Merrimack River Greenway, which means tooting the whistle at numerous crossings. Two trains operate at the same time, passing each other as one heads back and the other heads out. This is nothing new though. The club was first started back in 1939 by some railroad enthusiasts who got a hold of a miniature locomotive and laid out some track up by Lambert Field just for themselves to enjoy, but then they also started giving rides. 20 years after its founding, the land near the airport was needed for development and the club needed a new home. And then in 1961, the club found this location here in Glencoe, or Wildwood now. Set up track and started running in 1963, and we've been running ever since. Yeah, and the turnout's still pretty good. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Even with the pandemic, uh, we were closed for one year, but then right after that, when we could open up again, we've just been going crazy. We went to a reservation system, and that sells out every Sunday. To fully appreciate what goes into running these Sunday excursions, you've got to get up pretty early in the morning. But I'll be honest with you, 5 a.m., that was too early for me. It takes time to get a cold engine ready to run. It's all about fire and water and literally building up a head of steam. I will spend, like I was down here yesterday getting everything ready. Been here since five o'clock this morning. Firing this one up, getting her all ready to go. So there's a lot going on here before the first ride leaves at 11. There are several engines that will be operating and it's all about building pressure and sometimes relieving pressure when necessary. The volunteers, they come from all walks of life. And one thing you might notice, more young guys than might be expected. So I got started when I was about 14. Um, I'm 25 now. Yeah, we've got younger guys coming in all the time. You know, that's the, the next generation. I'm kind of to the point where I'm like, I'm not the next generation anymore. It very much is like, I'm, I'm here doing it. On this morning, he was working with Colton Fisher, who is 14 years old. Uh, so I've been, uh, as a kid, I used to come to this river all the time just to ride the trains. A couple years ago, one of my friends reached out to me and asked if, I could, if I'd want to join, so I joined, and I've been here ever since. So can you actually get one of these things running yet? Uh, yeah, I can. You can't drive a train with passengers until you're 18, but by then, you'll know these engines and this operation inside out. The knowledge of maintaining and running these engines has been passed down over generations, often within the same families. That's how Ellen Lawson ended up as president of the Wabash, Frisco, and Pacific Railroad. My dad brought me here at the age of two, so I used to help him conduct. He would come out, I would ride in the back with him, and I would help him punch tickets when we got to the other end of the line. And as I grew up here and made a bunch of friends, I actually met my husband here. So they're very glad we got one couple coming out of this railroad. Some folks come early and the volunteers are always willing to talk about their trains. 
Allison Creswell came early to set up for her son Anderson's third birthday party. He loves trains. He's all excited about his uh, train ride with all of his friends. He's worn his conductor hat the whole week that we've shown it to him around the house, and he's ready to go. Yeah. Signals on the outbound from yard limits. Well, trains like these are gone. Trains never get old for kids, do they? No, they don't. We have so many kids who come here and say, oh, I just love trains. And so when we hear that, we usually try and hand them a membership application as well and say, well, you know, you can come out and actually help run these. Ticket reservations can be made at the Wabash, Frisco and Pacific website. And the trains will keep running until the last Sunday in October and we'll almost certainly be back on track again in April. For Living St. Louis, I'm Jim Kircher.